All right, so it's time for this video. What's in my bag? So I have the Cotopoxy Alpha. It is a one bag travel bag that I kind of use as my everyday bag because I have a really large laptop and this has enough capacity to hold that. All the other things that I take to and from school every day, school being like teaching school, I, would, I don't think I'd use this as a student. It's a little bulky, but when I have to carry around a lot of stuff and a lot of camera gear, this is it's pretty good, I like it. It's just start. A couple of things that are normally in here aren't because I'm using them to record right now. That's like my camera, my little tripod, little microphone, another little tripod to go along with that. But that, that's about it. Everything in here should be, should be pretty standard for what I use every day. Let's just, let's dig into it. Uh, in here, this little thing holds my Headphones, it's an old school case logic thing. I think I got this in, I don't know, going into college maybe, like 2008 circa. Have my GoPro. I like to keep this ready to go just in case something crazy happens, pull off on the side of the road, see something, go on an impromptu adventure. Always like to have this with me and ready. I do have a carrying case for it in here if I know that I'm not gonna be able to access it and wanna keep it a little bit um, safer, but this thing is pretty durable. I have an aluminum cage around it and it's pretty solid. This is my kind of extended EDC tech roll. In here I have uh, another little multi-tool um, similar to the Gerber that I carry. It is the Gerber that I carry um, just in a different color because remember my couch ate this one and I found it the other day. Little Altoids uh, tin. I keep uh, fingernail clippers. Little USB thing in there and a little rubber band. I've got a flashlight. I have a smaller charge cord and I usually slide a external battery pack type thing in here. A chapstick, flash drive, backup SD card for the camera. This just rolls up. It's nice and slick. It just it kind of like slides down in there. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Just another little GoPro accessory. I usually have a hat in my car. This just flips on to my hat and uh, I can screw the GoPro in there. It's a good way to get the POV version of my adventures. Okay, now we've got this little zip compartment here and I'm kind of scared because I haven't looked in here in a little while. Uh, okay, plug, just like a, like a charging plug. It's got the fast charging on it, so it can charge up my phone pretty quick. I uh, keep this in here because sometimes at school I just, I will plug in and charge my phone. Ah. These are chopsticks. Um, <laughs> uh, have a cop drop. Fidget spinner. Oh boy. I do kind of like fidget spinners. Um, as somebody with undiagnosed ADHD, uh, I can get how people think that they help, but as being a teacher and seeing these things used in schools and in class, it is a lie. It's a lie. These things are a distraction. I'm pretty sure I single-handedly killed the fad of these at my school because kids are like, oh, a fidget spinner, fidget spinner. I'm like, yeah, I've got a fidget spinner too. Look at me. I'm a teacher trying to be cool. And then a couple weeks, nobody was carrying around fidget spinners anymore. I'm not saying that I did it, but I'm saying that I did it. That's it in the little top compartment. This is what I call my main compartment. It's, it's side zip. This is the case for my GoPro. This is the case that I keep the camera that I'm recording with in. This is just a cheapo case logic case. I got it at Meyer, like 15 bucks, but it does the job well. It's it's rigid. Charger for the laptop. If you've watched this channel before, you know that I'm not a very organized person. I don't claim to be, so I, ju I did just throw this in here, and that's what I do most days. Got my bullet journal and the cover for it with all with all my pens. This is a little pocket protector. On a day that I wear pocket shirts, I'll pop that in there. Throw a couple pens or pencils 
it's good. It keeps everything together. And uh, it looks pretty cool too. Highly visible too. I, I can always see this if I, if I leave it on my desk or something like that, I know where it is. I like to keep Rhodia dot notebook. I am left, I write left-handed. So spiral notebooks are the devil to me. Like I get those ridges in my arms. Top down legal pad style is the way to go if you're a lefty. My laptop is 17.3 inches. And one reason that I got this bag in the first place is because it said that it would uh, carry a 17 inch laptop in the laptop compartment. Apparently it will not do 17.3. It does have a dedicated laptop sleeve, but this does not fit in there. Even out of the sleeve, it does not fit in there. But it's all good because it goes in the main compartment. And in the main compartment, it is actually, in my opinion, better protected than the laptop sleeve because the laptop sleeve is, it's the innermost compartment towards your back. So if this bag bounces, then you're, it's gonna hit your back. And when it's in the main compartment, there's multiple layers in between on both sides. So I keep it in there for those two reasons because it won't fit in the dedicated laptop sleeve and I feel that it's better protected. And I keep it in this sleeve, it's just Amazon basics, nothing special. In the dedicated laptop sleeve, I actually keep uh, a couple of other things. This is a bag of dice. You never know when you're gonna, you know, roll up on a D&D game and I've got my character sheets on my phone and I'm like, hey guys, I also like to keep a tote for if I have to run to the store. I keep this in here for kind of emergencies for those reasons. I don't like to use plastic bags. I try to avoid it at all costs. If I know that I'm gonna be getting multiple things that I can't just carry out in my hands, I'm gonna use this and keeping it in my, in my bag, which I pretty much always have in my car, I know that I'm always gonna have one of these. In here, it does have a dedicated tablet sleeve. I don't carry my tablet to school though. My laptop is the workhorse. The tablet just adds weight that I don't need to add. And in there you have access to another internal compartment. Um, show it to you. This right here. And it goes all the way up. So you can actually fit a lot of stuff in there. It is just, it's a lot harder to access this compartment because you have to open it all the way up. All right guys, that's what's in my bag. This is the bag that I carry around practically every day. I've always wanted to do one of those videos and I'm glad that I was finally able to get one up. Thanks for watching. As always, if there's anything that you'd like to see, any ideas that you have for future videos, leave them in the comments. Let me know what you think. Subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.